guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done one of these in a, quite a while. I'm on my way to therapy. I am doing a car vlog. Let's talk car vlog. Um, this is specifically to, um, specifically directed to YouTubers. You guys that make content, what do I say? What do I say? I'm kind of Oh, is this a half day today? Oh, I'm gonna be stuck behind a bus. Anyway, I'm kind of in a rut. I'm in a rut in my personal life. I'm in a rut in with YouTube. Um, you know, I'm. I love you guys' comments. Like you guys. Um, I have my Stitch Fix that went up today. Uh, so that will be tomorrow or yesterday that you guys will see it. Um, I did my wantables. I have a bunch of other um, things going on. I just feel, okay, here's my issue. I, you know, and I kind of, no, I did the last one on spamming. My issue is, and you know, this is something that's been bothering me and I, I want to stand out. And YouTube on YouTube like I'm gonna get me stuck behind this bus the whole time I'm gonna be late for therapy because that should be my rant how many be late for therapy this is my rant and I know I've talked about this before is how no one is original on YouTube like there's no original idea on YouTube and I guess, like, I'm going through, now it's a holiday season, right? So everyone's doing Halloween makeup tutorials. Okay, I know some people get really excited about those. I personally love to do them myself. I just don't really have the time. They're very time intensive. Uh, post down below if it's something you'd like to see is some, you know, Halloween makeup looks. Um, let me know. I just feel, and post down below, guys. I know, like, in one of my other videos, somebody posted... I would watch you like, I don't know, like opening up a gallon of milk. Like, I, I don't know like exactly what the thing was, but it was funny. And you know, because they love my honesty and they love my, you know, my personality. And I really appreciate that from you guys. I, I appreciate people who appreciate honesty. We're stopping for the bus again. This is getting on my nerves. Uh, I'm really at a very low patience threshold. Am I even going the right way? Now I'm all confused. Yes, I am. Okay. So no original idea. No idea is an original idea. Okay. And I don't know if it's a beauty community. And the thing is, I don't only watch beauty videos. So you guys on my channel, maybe this is sort of like a little, like what's coming up on Chris's channel. You're going to be seeing a lot more planner videos. I have a planner box coming up. I have two planner boxes, actually two different planner boxes coming up. You are going to see plan with me videos. I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. My stitch fix, of course, the thing that's frustrating me about my stitch fix, I'm going to be honest with you guys, is that like today, like this month I had to drop $500 in car tax. I didn't get my car taxes last year for some reason. I think because my address was different. So, um, it got sent to, it got sent next door. And, excuse me, and the person who was living there at the time must have just, you know, sent it back, obviously. I never got it. So I had to pay, drop five, over $500. And can you just go? These kids are talking to, like, their friends, the bus driver. Just go. People have places to go. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry, children. I'm, I'm even yelling at children. Not, not yelling at them, obviously. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. And... I really need your help, guys. Post down below. You guys are always going to get the videos that you get from me. My unboxings, of course. I have two new, uh, they should be coming. Two new, um, like, not Loot Crate. I canceled Loot Crate. But two new, um, like, sort of gaming boxes or whatever that I'm going to be doing with Dante. So you're going to get Dante twice a month as opposed to once a month. There's going to be more makeup tutorials. And there's a reason I haven't done another one since I did the last one is that I really have to, you guys post down below too. Let me know what you like to watch. I know some people are like, when I thanked you for watching my 40 minute tutorial, you guys were like, somebody said, oh God, I wish I knew who it was. It was Celeste because <laughs> she doesn't, she, Celeste has a, if you see her, 
Celeste Mayfield on my um, in the comments. Click on her link. Click on her little icon and go to her channel because she has a great, amazing channel too. I love her. So shout out to Celeste. She had said in that she would watch. I think she said she. I think she was the one who said she would watch me do 40 minutes of anything, and like that's not something that like you know she normally does. But she would set a time, set aside time, 40 minutes for me any day. But she's the sweetest. Um, but I really, I have not gotten the knack. Of, I like the chit chat get ready with me because I'll tell you why and they are longer um, I am very OCD in certain aspects makeup being one of them how I apply my makeup being one of them and having worked at Sephora and now going to makeup school I really want to explain to people why I am doing what I am doing why I am placing a certain color there why I am, you know, um, using a certain foundation, why I'm using a certain brush, like, like, you know, and it's what works, works for me, obviously, you know, do you guys hate those videos? Um, that's why I do them. I do them because I genuinely like explaining what I'm doing as in, is in most things you guys know I always go off on some sort of I call it a tangent but it's actually not a tangent it's I'm just explaining to you I should be looking at the road guys sorry I, but I like to explain things so I like to explain why I do things I like to explain why I say certain things um, because I love to be a hundred percent upfront and honest with you and I don't um, and so I don't want my words to get twisted and I don't want you guys to like have any misunderstanding. You guys always know, you can post below. If you got questions about anything I say, anything I do, whatever, post it below and I, of course I will answer your question. I always answer my comments. Um, but is, is the get, chit chat get ready with me, is that too long? Should I just do get ready with me with music in the background and speed it up? You know what I mean? Like other people do. I personally don't do it that way because I don't find that helpful. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't, I don't watch those type of videos because I don't like them. What I like even worse is the ones as you get on Facebook that are so sped up. You're like, wait a minute, where's that person's eyeliner? Like what the heck just happened? Um, but so you guys let me know. I think what I'm basing a lot of stuff off of is what I personally would like to watch. And I know maybe I should do that because everyone's opinions are different what would you like to see as far as makeup tutorials go do you like when you know people just show you hey look I'm using this primer slap it on their face I'm using this foundation slap it on their face you know that kind of stuff please please post below give me your votes let's let's have this be a vote um, or do you like more tutorials I know a lot of people look for tutorials um, and if you guys can find tutorials where people just shut the fuck up and show you how it's done, great. Then maybe my channel is not the channel for you to be watching because I honestly do not know how to do that. I don't. I am a very verbal person, if you haven't figured that out yet, and I really like to explain um, in great detail <laughs> things. That's the first thing. That's one thing right there. Because, like I said, I'm getting a little disillusioned because I have so many emails that come into my email. So many emails that come into my inbox um, of people that I'm subscribed to. And I don't even, a lot of times, like, open the thumbnail, open anything. Like, I'm guilty of this. I will just look and see what it's about and go, oh, it's, uh, you know, get ready with me. And, you know, no, I don't want to watch it. Just because I know. Or I'll start to... And it's just one of those ones with just this, with the music in the background. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, you know, I know. I, I like everything needs to be, for me, needs to be done with a purpose. So that's my train of thought. But I need your, you guys' votes. Because it's something I want to do on a more regular basis. But I'm not sure what you guys are looking for. Um, the planner videos, like I had said before, I'm hoping to get more planner junkies involved because I know they're not that popular right now because most of you guys are now like in a, you know, uh, 
you know, you think I'm a beauty channel. I'm kind of not, you guys, to be honest with you. My channel coming up is always going to evolve, okay? It's always going to evolve. I'm always going to be adding stuff, stuff that I'm interested in, my passions, just things that float my boat. Um, I'm going to, I have um, some uh, book boxes coming up. Um, it, it's a really cool like book subscription box coming up. Um, I have like there's a lot of stuff coming up and I just so it's not a matter of me not having content for you guys. I have content for you guys. That is not an issue. It's how the content comes across. Okay, I cut this totally out of my stitch fix so when you guys watch it you will not see it. I want to let you go the guys know as far as my stitch fix goes. First of all, if you guys watched it in you know, me and all my ratchetness two thumbs I'm driving but two thumbs up for you like you guys are awesome um my fashion unboxings are going to be totally different or try ons because I am ordering a memory card I cannot use my Canon camera my T5i I cannot use it because I have to get a special memory card because otherwise my memory card that I tried I'm trying to use right now even though it has plenty of memory on it it's a class 10 it cuts off within like you know three seconds like I turn it on it's on for maybe maybe 10 seconds oh, I'm gonna just go maybe 10 seconds it's on and then it cuts off so I found out I have to get this extreme card that can handle the capacity of my camera as soon as I get that memory card I'm going to be able to use my, you know, wide angle lens. I'll be able to use my boom mic. I won't have to be screaming, you guys. Things won't be muffled. It'll be a lot more professional looking. So bear with me. I know most of my loyal subscribers don't give a shit. Like, I know you guys don't. Like, you know, you just like to see the clothes and how they look on me. And you guys give me awesome freaking advice as far as you guys are so honest. Like, no, I don't like that, Chris. It looks like crap. Or, no, that looks amazing. Well, you don't say it looks like crap. You guys are much nicer than me. You're like, no, it's, you know, it that doesn't flatter you. You guys are so sweet to me. Like, seriously, you really are. You're so adorable and sweet. Um, where, you know, I would just say, you know, Chris, you look fat in those pants. <laughs> but, you know, you guys are awesome. But with that being said, um, okay, so the other thing I want to say to YouTube creators, I watched... Roberto Blake yesterday. I you guys I may have mentioned him before. He's a YouTuber. He does a lot of techie stuff, but he all I have a green light. Where are you going, lady? Someone just pulled old lady just pulled right out in front of me. Okay, anyway, I'll have to find a spot and walk. Um so with that being said, he it was kind of he was talking about different niches. I call them niche niches, but niches, and how in order to be successful on YouTube, you have to produce um, quality, consistent content. I get that. Uh, you know, I get huh, small cars. I thought I had a spot. Damn it. Um, I get that part. But, perfect. Lighting's not bad either. But basically, he was saying, like, he, like he was talking about gamers, and he was saying that, like, it's so saturated that you really have to bring something original to the table. So maybe my question to you would be, so my question to you would be, what makes me original? Like, I'm really seriously like questioning that. Like what makes me original? Because honestly, I see people blow up on YouTube and I know it's not, I love my subscribers. So I'm gonna do this regardless if I stay under 2,000, I'm almost at 2,000, I'm, I'm inching up there, but I mean, if I stay at 2,000 or whatever, I, you know, I'm going to continue to do this, I'm not going to lie, would I love to be internet famous, would I love to make, have a huge, huge broad audience where I can make a huge difference in, pe difference in people's lives, absolutely, and it's not to be internet, it's not, I don't want to be internet famous to be internet famous. You know what I'm saying? For meet and greets or people notice me on the street or anything like that. No. I want to be internet famous so that I have a broader spectrum of people that I can talk to in my let's chats like this when I talk about very serious topics. I have another very serious topic coming up. Um, that'll happen next week, another let's talk. But I just... 
I have to think about how I'm going to approach it because, you know, um, little kids watch my channel and stuff like that. So it's, but I really like to share of myself. And so I think of this almost as a job, like a volunteer sort of job where you go in and you help people. I hope I help people. Um, so like, I, so like I was saying, so for me to, to be internet famous is not for the money. It's not for you know, getting free makeup. I mean, yes, that would be great. That'd be lovely. That'd be nice. You know what I mean? But for me, it's more about helping others, whether it's helping someone learn how to apply liquid eyeliner, you know, helping someone learn how to contour, like something as simple as that. Like, you know, that's what people go on YouTube for, you know, but if I can do it even broader with my Let's Talk series, it's why it's something that I'm so passionate about is this series right here. So that's what I say when I say I want to be internet famous and that is why. So I want you guys to know why because I have, there's so many people that like I said blow up within you know a year and and they have you know a million subscribers whatever 10,000, 50,000 whatever subscribers. I don't know how that happens. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I mean they must just you know, catch the eye of the right person. Honestly, um, that's what I think happens. And then, you know, spreads like wildfire, like, you know, a viral video, you never know what's going to go viral one day. You have, you have no idea, you know? Um, so I could probably do the most ridiculous video on YouTube that is so against my nature and so against my morals and go viral. And then my channel would be all set, but I would never do that because it's just not what I'm gonna, it's not what I'm about, uh, you know, I'm gonna be me, 100%. Um, but the people who want to be internet, I'm in a lot of YouTube groups, and what bugs me is people are like, some people are smaller, and some people are bigger, and you know, that's great, you know, as far as subscribers go, but it's not about the numbers, like, I really feel, grow your channel organically, let it happen. I've been on, I want to say I've been on YouTube, 11, 12, 13, 14, four years now I've been on YouTube. It started with my candle reviews. I think it's been four years and I still don't even have 2000 subscribers. I have over 600 videos up. Um, now where are they all great videos? No, I mean, you know, no, of course not. But you know, I think I'm up in my game. I think, you know, I'm upping my content, but you guys post below on what you would like to see. If you guys make videos, I'm just getting sick of the same, like I said, you'll never see me do a favorites video. Like you really won't, like it's just not gonna happen. But I'm kind of sick of it. Like, oh, here's my September favorites. Like, you know what? Unless it's someone I watch faithfully, I don't give a shit what your September favorites are. Like, I maybe that sounds rude and please, I don't mean to offend anybody that does favorites videos and loves favorites videos. I'm not meaning to say that, it's just, it's so saturated, it's the same shit regurgitated all the time. And, you know, it's so hard to come up with new and exciting ideas. I feel the same way about movies. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. This, it's a pet peeve of mine, and that's why I'm going off on this, is that now, you know, you everyone's making remakes. Remakes of, re like, they just came out with a new Poltergeist. Like, the first one was such a classic. You know what I mean? That series. Why are you doing that? You're, you're you know, even Hollywood can't come up with new ideas anymore. It drives me batty. It drives me batty. Um, and, you know, when I think to myself, most movies are made off books. There's so, you can't tell me. There's so many books out there. You cannot tell me you cannot pick a book and make a movie on it and write a screenplay. Like, no, it's remake after remake after remake, and I'm so sick of it. So anyway, guys, post below. Do you like the way my channel is? Do you like that there's certain videos that maybe not be up your alley, but other videos that maybe, you know, that are up your alley? Like, what? honestly, like, what do you think? Do you, I know people say find a niche. I don't, you can't encompass Chris in a little circle. Like you just can't, it just doesn't happen. So my, you know, I'm gonna be adding new stuff every day. What, you know, take, maybe taking some stuff away. Like, you know, but you guys are gonna have plenty of content from me. Just post down below your thoughts and your feelings. And if you guys are frustrated 
about YouTube as frustrated as I am. Um, and it's not about YouTube in general, you know, um, but I think people concentrate way too much on the numbers and it's not about the numbers. Like I said, if I can help one person, then I'm happy. If I, I mean, even if it's making someone laugh, you know, like I did my, my, um, Walmart box the other day and someone made a comment that I put, there was Aussie hairspray in there. That's what I used to use in the eighties to make my hair super big. And I put a big hair picture in there and she's like, oh my God, I laughed out loud. Like that's, you know what? That's what I watch videos for is like, you know, if I can get a laugh or I can find a product that I was like, wow, okay. Never heard of that before. I got to try that out. Or someone says something to me that, so anyway, guys, just post your, your thoughts and stuff down below. I got to head out because I got therapy in five minutes. So I got to go and I want to go pet this dog. So I will talk to you later. I love you guys. Take care.